as the student loan debate heats up in Washington, D.C. Students in our own area are really worried about how that could affect them. Student loan interest rates will double by July 1st unless Congress extends the current law. KXY Force Kylie Cruz joins us live in the studio tonight. And Kylie, this is really shaping up to be a big election year issue, huh? And that's right, Mike. It's been sort of a political football game these last couple of weeks. House Speaker John Boehner saying that President Obama is waging, quote, a fake fight to try to gain his own reelection. But the college students we spoke to today, 3,000 miles away from D.C., just want Congress to act fast and in their favor. It's a dreary day in Spokane, but it's not just the weather. It's absolutely incredible, and it's really devastating to our family. Student loans are all the talk here at SCC. Gerald Jordan has taken out $20,000 in student loans. Doubling the loan's interest rate frightens him. Without a doubt, that's really going to affect uh, me and because my wife and I both get student loans. So we're going to be paying back twice as much as an average person would. Starting July 1st, the interest rate on Stafford loans will jump from 3.4% to 6.8%. Seven million students will be impacted. The average student would have a whopping $1,000 more in debt per year with these higher rates. Uh, that would affect our students uh, greatly. We have about 37, 3,800 students on our loan program. Over at EWU, Patrick Smith, a criminal justice junior, works at the financial aid office. But that's not enough money to pay for school. I can't afford to pay tuition by myself, uh, and uh, neither can anybody in my family. He's taken out 10 grand in loans, and he's not alone. At EWU, 65% of the student body have loans, $55 million worth in Stafford loans. The interest rate is important, more, more so in the long run than on the front end. And that's because when students graduate, their next homework assignment is figuring out how to pay the loan back. It's the same problem in Washington as well. How to pay for the $5.9 billion cost of keeping these rates low. Each side has a different plan, but students like Gerald say, put the differences aside and the students first. And tomorrow, the House will vote to extend the current student loan interest rate of 3.4% for just one year. The House GOP wants to pay it back by taking away money from the president's health care reform law. Reporting live in the studio this evening, I'm Kylie Cruz, KXLY4 HD News.